When you think you're done blending, grab your brush and blend some more. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be a lot of fun if I filmed a little get ready with me. Um, just doing my hair and makeup and picking up my outfit with you guys. I'm actually going out of the house today to spend some time with a really good friend of mine. We're just going to get some coffee and catch up. Maybe take a few pictures in front of this beautiful sunflower field that we have um, here in Ottawa. So I just thought it would be fun if I filmed the process and you guys could get ready with me. So yeah, I hope you're all doing really well during these times. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay so I'm first going to start by prepping my skin and I've been using the Clinique 72 hour moisture surge. This is just a beautiful cream. Um, I really like it. It makes your face feel like it has silk on it. It's so nice and it honestly moisturizes me for so long. I really really like this. And then my go-to, I love this so much, I honestly use this as a lip chop as well and just like whenever my lips are feeling a little bit dry, but this is the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. This one is just in the travel size um, and I'm just going to apply a little bit to my lips just to give them a little extra moisture and to smooth them out a little bit. I use this so much and I bought it over and over and over again. I definitely recommend this. Um, so I'm going to spray on my heat protectant spray. So I just spray this all over the ends of my hair. So next I'm going to go in and curl my hair. So I've just been using this Tool Silent Science Curling Iron. Um, it's just a wand and I know that it's so, so ratty. It's so old and it looks disgusting. Um, but every time that I buy a new curling iron, I find that it doesn't hold the curls as long as this one does. So if anybody has a recommendation for a really good curling wand or any sort of tool that really holds in the curl, please let me know because I definitely need to replace this. And I'm just going to section my hair from my eyebrows up. And this hair I'll just put in a ponytail at the top or I'll use a clip or something. Lately I've been really enjoying curling my hair forward. It just looks so much more voluminous so I'm going to do that. And I usually start with the front section and I'm taking about one inch sections and I curl just the base of my hair. The last couple inches. And I hold it for about 10 seconds and then I'll let go. And it's just this really pretty curl like this. And I'm going to do this to my whole head. So I've gone ahead and taken down the rest of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead in and curl it the exact same way. Um, the only thing is I have these bangs that I usually leave alone just because I'm trying to grow them out. Uh, it was a little bit of a COVID cut. Um, didn't turn out that great, but we're living through it. We're finding fun hairstyles to work about our ways around it. Um, so yeah, I usually just leave these and I'll pin them up with a clip or with a little headband. So I'll just leave these on the side there. And I'm going to go in with my curling iron and curl it the exact same way as we did for the bottom. Okay, so I've got my hair all curled, so I'm just going to go ahead in and brush it out. I've already let them cool for a couple minutes just so that they still hold their curl. And I just do this because I find that um, they come out really ringletty and separated, and I like it when it comes all together and it just looks a little bit more uh, smoothed out. And then to hold my hair out of the way and get my bangs in order, I'm going to use just this little headband. Um, it's really cute and just a little pink. Really like it with these little flowers on it. It's from Anthropology, And I just brush my hair back and then put that over. That's basically what I do for my hair. Um, and these curls will fall out even more throughout the day and just look even more wavy. So I really like doing this and it's honestly, um, I can wear this the next day with just a few touch-ups here and there. 
Okay, now moving on to the fun part, which is makeup. I love doing makeup. It's just so much fun and so relaxing to me. Um, so I'm going to start by priming my face. We already moisturized and prepped our skin. So this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I love this primer so much. It is such, like it has such good strong hold. Like it's so tacky. It's almost like glue. It really holds onto your makeup. So I just use a little pump into clean hands and I'll just rub this all over my skin. Just be careful because you can pull your skin a little bit with this primer just because it is so sticky. So if it starts to pull, I'll usually tap it around the rest of the areas that I missed. Okay, so I'm going to go in with foundation and I've been loving this one from L'Oreal. Um, I've been buying this non-stop. I also really love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but lately I've been really gravitating towards the L'Oreal one. And I just use the shade 420 on my Morphe blending sponge, and I just like to pat it into my skin. I just love the coverage on this. I find it doesn't get really patchy or faded or anything. It lasts all day long and it just looks really good. Um, I find the only touch up I ever really have to do is a little powder on my forehead um, if I tend to get a little bit oily at the end of the day. But besides that, I find that this foundation really has just done it for me and has never failed me. Okay, next going in with my concealer and this is so funny because I always pull off the little sponge so it just looks absolutely disgusting but it's just the way that I like to use it. Um, I just turn it and then I'll put this right underneath my eyes on my nose and on my chin. And this is just the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. Now I'll go in with my sponge and just blend out the concealer, making sure that when I go underneath my eyes I'm getting really, really close. I feel like my camera is going to like either die or run out of memory soon because I've just had the worst luck with filming lately. Um, I was actually setting up to film this video today and my ring light fell over onto the ground and the light bulb shattered. So um, we're filming with natural light and these amazing lights from Amazon that I got. Um, I'll also link those down below. They're just little stick-on ones and they come with extra stickies. Um, so that's definitely saved me as well. <laughs> Next I'm going in with this Jaclyn Hill and this is the Dumi Luminous Powder. Um, and it's just such a beautiful powder. It really sets everything nicely and gives you a really pretty glow. It's just a very subtle glow, so it's okay to use um, this as a powder because you're not going to be glowing like a highlight, um, but it just makes you look like you have a natural, healthy glow to your skin, and I love it. So I use this to set uh, certain areas, like my under eye, my chin, and then I'll put a little bit on the perimeter of my forehead. Okay, so this is a product that I bought a while ago and I'm just now starting to get back into. And this is the MAC Gold Deposit and it's just a really beautiful um, bronzer shade that I use. Um, and I just think it's so beautiful. It has little gold shimmers in it. And I just pick this up with a little bronzing brush. And I don't like to go overboard with my bronzer when I'm doing a little bit more of a natural look so I just put it right on the outside of the perimeter of my forehead and just a little bit on my cheekbones not a lot at all because we are going to go in with some blush and highlight still so I don't want to overdo it on my more natural days and then I'll also bring a little bit on my jawline when you think you're done blending grab your brush and blend some more um, lately for both my more full coverage days and my more natural days, I've been loving um, layering these nude sticks with some powder blush. So this is nude stick um, all over blush color and this is in the shade Sunset Strip. And I just take off the lid and I use a little concealer brush or any brush that you like a stippling brush would be perfect as well. And I just tap my brush into there. And then I'm going to pack it onto my cheeks, right on the apples of my cheek, blending backward toward my temple. And then I'll take whatever is left over on my brush and just run it over the center of my nose and right above the arches of my eyebrows. 
something I've been doing pretty much every day, whether it's glam or a little bit. Did you see that? It just fell out of the pan. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. It's still intact. I got it. <laughs> is taking this MAC Extra Dimension blush, and this is in the shade Into the Pink, and I just take a little contour brush or just another blush brush, and I'll put it right on the high points of my cheeks. And it just adds a really nice natural highlight and shimmer to the cheeks. Next, I go in and I set my makeup. So this is just the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder by Maybelline. Another amazing drugstore product. I swear, drugstore makeup is getting so good. Um, I don't even bother buying the stuff from Sephora too much anymore. Um, like, obviously, there's still all some things that I'll buy that I must have from there. But things like powder... Um, even blush sometimes, I don't even bother. Um, I just love so many drugstore products as well. Um, so I take my Morphe sponge, and this is the one with the straight edge, and I'll just dip it into my powder. I'm just going to cut right below my contour and bake. And then whatever is left over on my beauty sponge, I'll just pat onto the center of my forehead. All right, my camera's about to die, which is a great. Like I said, one of the two is going to happen. Um, so while we're baking, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I just take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I'm in the shade Blonde and the little brush that comes with it. And I just brush up my eyebrows. And then I don't fill them completely in, but I just go in and fill in any sparse areas. They're like cousins, not sisters. But it's okay, we're going to make them sisters. Maybe not twins, but sisters is good enough. Alright, so my camera died. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I just went in with this little brush and brushed off my bake. And next I'm going to go in with some mascara. And I've just been loving the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Um, I just think that it really holds an amazing length and curl. And it lasts all day and I don't usually get that much smudging. So I'm just going to go ahead in and curl my lashes and then I'm just gonna put on some false lashes these are just the kiss lashes and don't mind these are a little bit crazy but these are just what they look like so I'm gonna throw on my lashes and I'll be right back okay so next is for lips I just put on my lashes um, I just love how natural they look and they're just so pretty um, I've been loving this combination if I can find the right Jeffree Star liquid lipstick so this is mannequin by Jeffree Star and I've just liked using this to almost line my lips and then I'll fill in the center with a gloss or a lipstick And then in the center, I'm just taking Morphe's lip gloss, and this is in the shade Flower Crown. I'm trying to model this so it looks cute. Okay, we don't have time for that. My camera is best. <laughs> and then for jewelry, which is my favorite part because I love just putting on jewelry. It makes me so happy. I'm going to wear these Pandora earrings. Um, these are just really pretty heart hoops, and I just love them. They've been... My everyday earrings, um, they're just so beautiful and go with so many different things. They're in the color rose gold. And then for my wrist, I'm just going to wear my favorite Danielle Wellington watch. This is just in the Petite Mel Rose. It's really cool because it comes with a kit so you can adjust it yourself so you don't need to take it anywhere. And again, it's in the shade rose gold, so in that really pretty pink color and I just love this watch. It goes with everything. I wear it practically every day um, and I just think it's so pretty. So that's probably all the jewelry I'll wear today because I also have on my headband and the rings that I wear every day um, which are just the this gold ring in my middle finger there and then the silver one which I sometimes turn around but um, it actually looks like that, um, but sometimes I'll turn it around to make it look more casual. <laughs> so now for the best part, let's get into what I'm going to wear today. 
So to start off, I'm wearing this beautiful puff sleeve top from Abercrombie & Fitch. It's made from this really beautiful linen material. Um, I love the square neckline. I think that a square neckline is so flattering. Um, and then it's just a little crop top, so it's about this long. And I honestly wear this top so much just because it goes with so many different bottoms. Um, I wear it with all my skirts and all my shorts. I just love how versatile it is. Um, and it's really, really comfortable. So I really think that it's really beautiful. And then down below here, I'm wearing this beautiful skirt from Topshop. And it has this beautiful floral pattern all over it. It looks like um, little pieces of lavender all over the entire thing. And it's really cute. It just has two real little frills. Um, and I just think that the skirt is so flattering. It has a very, very high waist. Um, so it will work with a lot of tops, especially crop tops like this one. Um, and I just think it's a very flattering shape. And then to top it all off, I'm just wearing these really adorable mules from Topshop, which I love. I've worn these so often this summer, and I really think that they're a great staple in your summer wardrobe. Um, they're just super, super comfortable and very versatile as well. They just have a little block heel, so they're a little bit dirty, um, but I really love these. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me this morning, and I'll see you again next Wednesday in my next video. Bye.